Welcome to our video tutorial where we illustrate an ActiveX checkbox and a macro associated with its click event. We are currently in sheet 1 where we have two checkboxes, one representing USA and the other UK. You have options to select both as you can currently see on your screen or only one here we deselect UK or none of these we have deselected both. Now we select USA. So the corresponding cities for the selected country are displayed here. Currently USA cities are being displayed and now cities for both USA and UK are being displayed after selecting both the checkboxes. Now we come to the video uh, to the visual basic editor. We are on the click event which is associated with checkbox 1. This macro is triggered on clicking the checkbox and the macro must be located in the code module of the worksheet containing the checkbox. This is sheet 1 where the checkbox 1 and both checkbox 2 are located. On the top of the code module, there are two drop down boxes. We can select the control that is checkbox 1. We are selecting on the left. The left drop down is displaying all the controls which are present in the worksheet. So here we select checkbox 1. On the right, all the events are displayed which are supported by the checkbox by the control which is selected on the left. We have the change event, the click event, the double click event for checkbox 1 and so on. Now we are currently viewing the macro for which is executed on clicking the checkbox 1. Let's run through this macro. Checkbox 1 represents USA and checkbox 2 represents UK. We start with an error statement. So whenever there is a runtime error, the procedure flow is directed to the next statement. Now we have two possibilities. The first possibility is if checkbox 1 is selected. In this we have two options. If checkbox 2 is not selected in this, then the filter will display only USA, which is represented by checkbox 1. The second option is if checkbox 2 is selected, then in this case both the checkboxes being selected, the filter will display both USA and UK. The second possibility is if checkbox 1 is not selected. In this case, the first option, if checkbox 2 is not selected, then in this case both checkboxes not being selected, no country will be displayed. Second option, checkbox 2 is selected. So in this case, the filter will display only UK, which is represented by the checkbox 2. So this is the macro, which is executed on clicking checkbox 1. And we have a similar macro for checkbox 2 with similar codes, which is executed on clicking checkbox 2. Now coming back to the worksheet, here we have both the checkboxes, only US's uh, cities are displayed, no cities are displayed, both the cities are displayed. We hope you enjoyed watching the tutorial and you found it useful. Thank you.